<laughs> so you're in class eight to five at at, at which academy was it? At, Atlantic Theater Atlantic. Company. Yeah, you're going eight to five then, or what? Uh, what's it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we would like it's more of a job than like a. Yeah, you go class and you schedule. have like you have like you know seven classes in a row. We had like a movement cl- class, which every year would change. We did something called oh, this was kind of fucked up and weird <laughs> Suzuki, <laughs> which is a st- a class it's where a you great just, you stomp. It's what like the art of stomping? <laughs> so this was during the big stomp renaissance on Broadway. Uh, yeah, yeah, which continues. Uh, yeah, you would have to. This woman uh, would our teacher would have a. She had a big stick called a shinai, and she would. It was a Japanese technique, and she would smack the ground with her stick, oh. and you would ha- just have to keep stomping and keep your core like super intact. And it sounds like a great workout. It was, but it would also like destroy people's knees. And I uh. one day got like a blood. My foot started bleeding because oh, I was stomping for so long. And I was like, um, excuse me, my foot is bleeding. And she was like, that's a story you're telling yourself. What? Yeah. Jeez, this is crazy. It's hardcore. Was that the only class she taught? <laughs> yes. And her, by the way, both of her knees were in braces. Oh, God. I was like, is this not a cautionary tale? What's the purpose of that one? There well, can't be any what relevant. Was interesting about unless that Unless you're one. about to do a wrestling match and you have to stomp on the mat to make the noise or something. Well, no. I think what was interesting about that one is once you started having to say monologues while stomping, it was about like endurance. So once you had to like start speaking while stomping... It, you were like at your kind of wits end and it, you were like accessing different parts of your, your, you know, emotional landscape. And you could tell like yeah. the thing about, you're not into it. The thing about act, I think the thing about it, about like acting school that's interesting is about really getting rid of bad habits. Like, sure. and that's a big thing in Atlantic too, is like, you know, I think noticing the things that are your tricks and trying to subvert them so that you're not like relying on those things. Sure. So when you're stomping like a maniac and like your feet are bleeding, you can't really rely on like habits. You're like having to do, I don't know, use other tools. Interesting. So that's where I would like lose my laugh. Basically, I would be <laughs> focused on other things. I wouldn't be laughing anymore because I'd be bleeding or whatever. Yes. You. Yeah. Yeah. Blood are, usually doesn't go with laughter. Is that so? Well, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> 